Down in Delta, a group of Japanese Americans from across the country paid pilgrimage to the historical Topaz internment camp. ABC4 photojournalist Keaton Yoshinaga watched how both survivors and descendants paid their respect to James Hatsuaki Wakasa, an internee who was shot and killed by guards during his internment. When I was a child, I heard about someone named James Wakasa. My mother talked about it at dinner one night. I was born here in Topaz. Twelve of my relatives were incarcerated there, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, my parents. The Japanese Americans have for decades not talked about their imprisonment because they felt shame. I'm speaking through my mother's diary. I know more about the camps after my parents passed away. They never talked about it. He was shot by a guard through the heart and fell down parallel to the fence, died right away. People around the camp folded paper flowers, but only because they didn't have fresh flowers to offer to him. What we didn't know was that a monument was created for him, which was ordered destroyed by the government, still lay in the ground. So it was like a message in a bottle. It was an astounding discovery. So we're coming together to remember him, honor him, and I think what we can learn from it is that people come to this country with hopes and dreams. And in his case, because of his race, he was taken from San Francisco and he ended up with a bullet in his body. It was, it was a really tight community in San Francisco. It, it was it's hard to explain, but everybody knew everybody. It felt like a very wonderful occasion to remember that history, walk with those who are here. Yeah, in this camp in Utah, and then work together to, to, to do this work of remembrance, but also healing. My lifespan is limited, so I am hoping that activities like this will pique the interest of, of uh, the next generations. We, we treasure them because, as you know, World War II survivors are leaving us, and so it's really heartening to see young people and also older people in their 80s coming together to share stories.